guys i am harsh kirk from android solutions and guys in today's tutorial i am going to show you how you can install the omni roam on your redmi note 3 so guys first of all open your twrp recovery and now you just have to click on this wipe button add advanced wipe dalvik system data internal and cache now swipe to wipe Now just go back, click on back, click this button. Now uh, actually I have to mount my USB OTG because I am installing the ROM via my uh, USB. So just uh, browse up to file and then swipe to confirm its flash. So guys it will take up approximately 4 to 7 minutes in booting up. So guys have some patience and wait till your uh, ROM boots up. Now click on reboot system. This process uh, will also take up a couple of minutes, say 2 to 3 minutes. So, guys, now you can see that my device has been booted up successfully with this Omni interface, and this is the Omni ROM. So, let me select the data. Now this is the Omni clock, uh, clock, here you can find the alarm, you can set it, clock, timer, stopwatch, etc. Now in phone I will show you the voltage support for our Redmi Note 3 running on Omni ROM. So I will just uh, contact Geo customer care and guys it works fine, you can see the timer running. So it's working absolutely fine and the bolt is working fine. I have shown you the proof. Now let me show you the, the bug of this room. That's the flashlight bug. Flashlight is not working. So it's in almost all the Kenzo rooms. But don't worry our developers are working hard to fix it. Now let me quickly set up the fingerprint sensor and will show you the guys whether it's working fine or not. So let me quickly do this fingerprint. So guys yes fingerprint sensor is working fine and from here you can set up the, your wallpapers. This is the only wallpapers type. Uh, you can just crop the wallpaper and add it. Uh, you can select it from gallery also. Now I will show you the bars from which you can configure your device mode. Here is the brightness control and if you will go down here is the button section. So it's running on the latest Android, Android Nova, that is Android 7.1.1. So as here you can see it, it has only 12 apps so therefore it's smooth. Now I will show you the camera of this device. Let me quickly open it and show you some photographs. So you can see it's focus is fast and shutter speed is awesome. Its exposure is somewhat high, but that's cool. So basically, guys, camera don't crash. Uh, so guys, that's all in this video. Like and share this video as much as you can, and I will see you guys in the next one.